People who lived out insane prison sentences. Nothing is quite frustrating as being kept away from the people you care about. What I mean is, spending time in prison is as bad as it sounds. Let no one lie to you. Stay away from criminal activities. But today we are not here to spread ethical knowledge, but rather to show you by example people who lived insane prison sentences. We have kept the best for last. Watch till the end to get a shocker of your life. But before we begin, kindly subscribe to our channel for more of our amazing content. Please give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our weekly uploads. Let's get it on! Number 10. Clarence Marshall. 64 years, 70 days. Clarence Marshall is the longest serving inmate in Michigan. His sentence commenced in 1950, and the poor soul left prison recently in 2015. Clarence was sentenced to life in prison on one count of armed robbery and another unarmed assault with intent to rob and steal. His parole came 64 years later just recently in 2015. Clarence was born on the 18th of May 1930, making him 84 years at the time of his parole. Number 9. Warren Nutter, 64 years, 271 days, and still ongoing. Warren is the youngest man ever to receive a death sentence in Iowa. He was just 18 years old when he was sentenced for the murder of a patrolman during a botched gas station robbery. From 1956, Warren Jack Nutter has been a guest of the state at the Iowa State Penitentiary, the maximum security prison often called the Fort. He is the longest serving inmate in Iowa and the fifth in the history of the United States. The daughter of the slain policeman he killed recently came out wanting the story to be aired. Because of his young age at the time of his crime, Nutter's case sparked newspaper editorials decrying the death penalty, which later fueled a movement that led to the abolishing of capital punishment in Iowa nine years later. Number 8. Walter H. Bork, Jr. 64 years, 332 days, and still ongoing. Well, I wish he was the famous Walter White from the hit TV series Breaking Bad who mastered the art of hiding and manipulating the authorities. But no, Walter Bork Jr. is the longest serving prisoner in New Hampshire. Walter kickstarted his new life behind bars in 1956, so far flipping 69 calendars, but is expected to see 99 years and six months for the axe murder of a four year old girl, Patricia Johnson, when he was just 17. He is due for release on or before the 11th of June 2054. Do you think he will make it that far? Let us know in the comment section below. Number 7. William Herons. 65 years, 181 days. William George Herons, born on the 15th of November 1928, was a convicted American murderer who confessed to three murders in 1946. He's infamously remembered as the Lipstick Killer, thanks to his notorious messages he wrote using lipstick at his crime scenes. At the time of his death on the 5th of March 2012, William had enjoyed prison confinement for 65 years. He spent a fair share of his life at the Dixon Correctional Center in Dixon, Illinois. Though he remained imprisoned until his death, William had recanted his confession and claimed to be a victim of coercive interrogation and police brutality. He died at the age of 83 from complications arising from diabetes. Number 6. Johnson Van Dyke Grigsby. 66 years, 123 days. After killing a man in a bar fight, Johnson was sentenced to life in prison for murder and was denied parole an unbelievable 69 times before being released at age 89. Believe it or not, Johnson voluntarily returned to prison, citing difficulty finding a job, but left prison again in 1976. Speaking in the same year, Johnson said the thought of his sentence was cruel and sometimes wished the judge had sentenced him to hang. But then he added, I've put all my trust in God. There's got to be a meaning to this. Number 5. Joseph Ligon. 66 years, 325 days, and ongoing. Joseph Ligon is the oldest juvenile lifer in the history of the United States. Aged only 15, Ligon was sentenced to life without parole for murder, a mandatory sentence at the time. He was with five friends drunk on two bottles of wine creeping their way through South Philadelphia when the group decided to carry out a series of robberies that left eight men stabbed. 
two of whom were fatally injured. At first, Ligon rejected the resentencing and parole offer in 2016, but in 2017, he was resentenced and was eligible for parole. But shockingly, he refused the offer again, hoping for a successful appeal. Ligon contends that he should be resentenced for time served and be released so that he can cut all ties with the justice system. Ligon's sentence commenced on the 18th of December 1953. Number 4. John Phillips, 68 years, 113 days, and ongoing. John has been the longest serving prisoner in North Carolina since 1991. He was sentenced on the 17th of July 1952 and is currently on his 68th year of incarceration for the rape of a five-year-old girl. John was 18 years and only in the ninth grade when he committed the heinous crime. After being sent for a mental submission, the report apparently classified John as a moron and said that he had the mind of a child aged seven years and seven months. His lawyers entered a guilty plea, then the judge sentenced him to life. After 68 years in prison, John is the state's longest serving inmate, a stooped and garrulous 87-year-old man whom inmates nicknamed Peanut and who gets around with the help of a worn wooden cane. Number 3. Paul Geidel Jr. 68 years, 245 days. Paul Geidel Jr., born on the 21st of April 1894, was the longest serving prison inmate in the United States and whose sentence ended with his parole. John was convicted for second degree murder in 1911 when he was just 17. He would go ahead to serve 68 years and 296 days in various New York State prisons. John was released on the 7th of May 1980 at the ripe age of 86. He died a year later on the 1st of May 1987. Number 2. Francis Clifford Smith 70 years, 146 days, and ongoing. Francis is by far the oldest prisoner in Connecticut. He was sentenced to death on the 7th of June 1959 for the murder of a night watchman during a robbery at a yacht club back in 1949. However, his sentence was commuted to life in prison in 1954, only two hours before his scheduled execution. Smith had been serving time at the Osborne Correctional Institution, but was moved to a nursing home in early 2020, thanks to his declining health brought about by old age. Number 1. Charles Fossard. 70 years, 303 days. The longest serving prisoner of all time, and also the first non-American in the list, is the Australian bad boy Charles Fossard. Combine mental illness with a major crime committed in a felon's youth, then you will have the recipe for an exceptionally long spell inside. That's certainly true for the inmate who seems to have completed the longest sentence ever served. Charles Fossard, a French immigrant to Australia, killed a man in Skye, south of Melbourne, on the 28th of June 1903. The then 21-year-old Fossard was tracked down, interrogated, judged insane, then got incarcerated on the 21st of June the same year. He was sent to Melbourne's Ararat Lunatic Asylum, a place he called home until his death, age 92, on the 19th of June 1974. Did you enjoy our video? In your opinion, which criminal in the video deserved the insane sentence they were served? Well, if you enjoyed our video, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more of our amazing content. Please give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our weekly uploads. We value your feedback. Feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comment section below.